Pat Skeets here from me and my cricket.com. Um, that's my website. There is a link below, so please uh, go there for some inspiration. You'll find lots of page ideas. Okay, so this is the photo that I'm working with today. Remember those in the 90s, glamour shots? Well, we had it in Canada. They opened a whole chain. I'm sure you had it in the U.S. as well. Um, so I found this old picture of myself in an <laughs> envelope, and I hadn't scrapbooked it. So I've chosen some 8 by 10s I find are, are uh, hard to scrap because there isn't a lot of room on the page to make it look great. So anyway, with the colors in this photo, I picked, there's pink and silver and black. So I found this old stack I have. Uh, it's DCWV, the black current stack. Um, so I found paper in there. So I, I chose this black uh, pattern, tone on tone. I guess there, you can see it now. Um, for a background and then I chose a stripe and a floral to go on that page as well because I have a floral top and this paper is a coordinate that I found in the new Creative Memories uh, Jazzberry collection uh, so it's right there designer paper pack all kinds of uh, papers in there so that's what I'm going to be using today. You can't do much on a page that is um, with just an 8x10. So I've just put a title Glamour because it was Glamour Shots. And um, then I, I found a big border to go up here, a big wide floral thing. And I just did a little frame type image here to dress up the title a little bit, to draw a little bit of attention to that. I cut the papers in pieces to put behind here and uh, just to add some extra color, but there's not much else I can do uh, with it. I did, I don't usually do single pages, so, um, but it's just a single photo that I found. So I am going to, um, Oh, I should show you. Um, I, I like to take this opportun these opportunities to show you some images and image sets. Um, that title, Glamour, is from um, a cartridge, I can't talk while I'm typing, called Forever Young. Well, here's another B Young, Forever Young. And so I'll show you this cartridge some images from it. It's really good for, uh, actually, I love these female images. I think they're also great for 50s pictures and uh, photos. I actually bought this cartridge for scrapbooking my own youth and my, in my, me in my 20s and stuff like that. I haven't done that yet, but I certainly used it for my grandchildren and girlfriends and any kind of feminine page, lots of nice titles on it. Um, liking those girly images. Lots, I love this cartridge. Look at all these ladies, they're fun. There's a uh, mannequin thing, for a dressmaker's form. Handbags, shoes, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna go back to there and I'll show you this one too. It's good to look through the images because they do inspire you. This one is called Be Young. Lots of fun. Oh, there's perfume bottle. All kinds of, uh, this was a, a Creative Memories cartridge, I believe, originally. Yeah, it looks like it was. Um, lots of nice images. That's a good title. I've used that. I've used this frame. I've used several of these over the years. Oh, look at that whale. It is so cute. I've used this frame. Yeah, this is good. Good. So anyway, let's get back to the uh, 
project at hand. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, here we are. These are all the, uh, this is the one I'm work we're working with today. So it is a very simple page. And so I'm going to, um, oh, since they did an update, it doesn't go back to the size you want it. It's at 100%. I like it at 75. Okay, um, I'm going to cut this title out and we're going to make it. All right, we're back. This should be a quick page because there's um, only one photograph and it's only one layout. Okay, so I laid this out like this. I'm trying to leave a margin around the edge. And then I do want this print. I want the pink to show because the pink in my outfit. Um, all right. One more of that. Now, I do have another one here. So, I, um, on my layout that I designed, I did um, a floral border for up here. And I found in my stash this. It was a long border, and it's from Vivid Melodies from Creative Memories. There's all these uh, laser cutouts. I absolutely love them. And this was a, a border. I guess it was like this. So I fussy cut this uh, apart and made a this to go up here. So I'm going to use this here instead, but I did design, I found a similar look for uh, the layout in Design Space for You. And that, you know what? These aren't looking nice on, on this. I think I'm gonna switch the, the cranberry and the black and white. I'm gonna move them. Then there'll be more floral showing. I want that to show. Perhaps, yeah, more of the flower. The flowers show up better on when there's more of the cranberry on this. I sort of picked that spray because my earrings in this photo are kind of. <laughs> uh, this is 90s glamour, folks. And now I'm going to change it up a bit and I'm going to add some black up here. It just sort of balances a little, a little better. Yeah. Now it's not so vacant up there. Okay, so I found this in that same um, Jazzberry Vivid Me Melodies thing. It, this was in here too, I believe. So I'm going to use this. You could use a die if that's what you have. And I'm going to add my title, Glamour. I think I want it to line up with the bottom of the uh, photo. It does say Glamour Shots on the photo, but it's so small. It also has a year on there. <laughs> oh, the 90s. I I'm sure Dynasty was on the air when I did this. So I decided I'm going to embellish with diamonds because this is pretty glittery. So I pulled out from my rhinestones here all the gems that I have. I have them all sorted by color and I have clear ones. So I put, I'm going to tape this. It's just going to, this is, um, I'm just going to tape this because I can't put down my embellish it without taping it. So if I put this down here. There. Now I'm going to put this in place. And that's going to go under there. Whoops. Um, remove 
of this for a bit. And I have to glue this one or I can't do any embellishments on it. So it'll take a little longer. Um, that goes there. This will go down here. I want more of it to show because the flowers on top. Now I have to take this I have so much so many refills for this and I'll be using it for a year. Enter this. All right, now I can get this placed. But yes, I need it there. So it's almost embarrassing doing this. I don't usually scrap pictures of myself, especially funny ones. Um, but I, I, it is, I guess I need, I'm getting to an age where I think my grandchildren may want these one day. <laughs> so they can laugh at me. Um, okay. So now I can embellish. So I'm going to move this in right. So if that's going to be there, then I can put... I need to use the repositionable tape. Here it is. On this. Okay, this is going to go on lifters. I need to get them. I have small ones and bigger ones. So if I flip, I guess I'm using small ones on this. I I am um, I really use these a lot. I love dimension on my pages and uh, they they give me a, a look that I really like. I understand lots of people don't use them for their albums. It, it makes the albums very thick. You don't get nearly as many pages in them. But I don't mind. Whoops trying to peel these. There we are. All right. Whoops, slipped. There we go. These lifters aren't very high. So I, I did find in the gems that I had flowers and this, my earrings are flowers. So I am gonna put that on there. So I'll use a, a lifter for that too, although it is a thick flower already. There we go. And then I also, in my gems, I have some really fine, tiny rhinestones. Um, well, I know I have two of them. Here. So there's some really fine... They aren't the diamond ones that I was looking for. I was going to put a couple of really tiny ones on the letters, on the black letters. Anyway. Okay, so this I'm going to have to put rhinestones on, but I can't 
do that until I can't put them on. I can't glue them. So I'm going to put in the centers of each of the flowers, I'm going to put these lifters. Oh, they're not big enough. I need my bigger ones. <clears throat> Here we go. These are really thick and they're bigger. Forever in time. I think I did, yeah, a dollar. I got them at the dollar store. Okay. So if I put one, of, I can't do that on the page. In the center of each flower, I can then add a gem and it'll lift it up as well. Cute. I like embellishing my pages. It's almost as much fun as picking out the paper. You know, it's funny. I love every single process, every part of scrapbooking. There we go. All righty. Oh, I have to peel these. <laughs> this is how you ruin your manicure. It's hard to keep nice nails scrapbooking all the time. Okay, that looks pretty tacky with the whites showing. Anyway, okay, that's all good. Now I can just put my gems on and they should stick. Well, the large hold ones should. This one has a large hole. I might have to glue these. There. I think this one's bigger. Okay, I do have a tool called a gem picker. Oh, do I love this. I should have been using it. It has a thin tip, but it's sticky and it picks up gems. And this one is thicker and it picks up bigger gems. So I'm going to use this to glue and put this on. Um, Maybe I'll just put the glue on here. Hopefully, I can put it on thick enough. I hope it's coming out. Yes, it is. Oops. Now I'm afraid it's going to flop off onto my page. I usually use the other side of my uh, pen. Here it is. I use this side of my pen to hold the gem in place till the glue dries. Because it has a bit of, it's a bit concave. It fits into the, the uh, over the gem quite well. Come on, let's do. Okay. And now I have one more. Let's just roll that off. Please stay. <laughs> Hold that for a few seconds. And 
while that is drying for a moment. Oh, here it is. I found the gem, little tiny gems. So these little tiny ones, I like putting little gems on letters in random places sometimes. So I'm going to use my... I love this tool. It's the thinnest one for getting under things. I think I'll put that joining mat right there. And on the G, that's probably enough. I also found these and <clears throat> they're um, gem swirls and flourishes with gems. So I think I'm going to put something over here. Maybe right here. Yeah, so I can position it if I just cut the clear plastic around. I'm just going to use a smaller one. I'm overdoing the, the gem thing because it is, it's such a 90s thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'll do it there. No, it shows up better on this colored. So I'm going to put that on there. Okay. Sometimes you need five hands to put these things on. This is not going to be good. I've made a mess of it. I've got it touching. Okay, we're good. I did not approach this well. <laughs> got a bit of a mess going on here. You just sort of have to let them go where they go. Well, that broke. That one didn't work. I think I've ruined this one. Yeah, I've got it going the wrong way. I got it all twisted. We'll get rid of that one. And we'll try it again. I'm usually much better at doing this. <clears throat> if I use a, uh, something like this to help. So now I have to figure out where I'm going to put it first. Okay, I'm going to peel it from the bottom. Maybe I can... off a bit at a time. That's the bigger gems are harder to take off. There. Boy. If anybody knows a better way to put to do these gems I'd sure like to know. I've done quite a few of them, but I haven't done one in a long time. And I've never had such a hard time as with this one. There we go. Oh! I think I should deserve a round of applause after that. <laughs> anyway, okay. 
I'm thinking that this page, I, I this page is done. I think that's enough on it. I'm, I'm, uh, I've gone crazy with the gems because of all the, uh, the content and the photograph. So, um, just making fun of that. Anyway, so, um, if you ever need an idea, you have to keep your pages a bit simple for eight by 10 photos. And that's what this is. So you can't do too, too much to the page. I trim it, the photo as small as I can. And then, uh, gives me a little more room to have some fun decorating it so there will be a design space link posted below so please um, go to my website and uh, maybe you'll find inspiration there thanks for watching